All right, welcome back to WMAC Now with your host Chuck Stevenson, and welcome to another episode of Blast from the Past, where we take a look and examine fighters from days gone by. This week we'll be heading back across the Pacific to Japan to take a look at Hisai Watanabe. Hisai Watanabe, the original KO queen of the women's divisions, made her pro debut in April of 2002 at Smack Girl Royal Smack. She would lose by disqualification to Mako Okada after throwing an illegal upkick. Watanabe would fight seven times her first year in the sport. For the Smack Girl Japan Cup 2002, she would fight once a month for three months, facing Satoko Shinashi in the finals. Watanabe would lose to Shinashi by heel hook in the second round. After the Japan Cup 2002, Watanabe would go on a nine-fight winning streak spanning two and a half years, with five of those wins coming by way of knockout. During this streak, Watanabe would, average, would avenge two of her previous losses to Maiko Okada and Mary Kaniko, respectively. In beating Kaniko, she won the 2004 Golden Muscle Strongest Queen Tournament. In June 2005, Watanabe returned to Smack Girl to face fellow legend Yuka Suji for the inaugural Smack Girl Lightweight 206-pound title. Suji would leave the victor, submitting Watanabe by armbar in the first round. After picking up three straight wins, Watanabe would make her deep debut and get a chance for vengeance on Satoka Shinashi, fighting for the inaugural Deep Women's Lightweight 110-pound title. This time, Watanabe dominated Shinashi on the feet and knocked her out at 3 minutes 54 seconds of the first round to win the title and hand Shinashi her first loss. In her next fight, Watanabe would lose a decision in a non-title fight to Korean prospect and kickboxer Sahi Ham. After submitting Masaka Yoshida in her very next fight, Watanabe would be booked for her first title defense. At deep 31st impact in August of 2007, Watanabe would defend her title for the first time, facing rising star Miku Matsumoto. Matsumoto would arise the victor of a majority decision in a closely fought fight. After fighting once more that December, Watanabe would announce her retirement. Now, much like deaths in soap operas and comic books, MMA retirements never seem to be permanent. Watanabe would return to competition after eight years in February 2010 to fight for the short-lived World F Series of Fighting GC. She would defeat Korean teenager Ye Ji Lee by TKO in the second round. That June, Watanabe would fight for the first time in Osaka under the Valley Tudo Japan banner. She would take on Korean prospect Jon Eun Park, struggling to a majority decision that many felt she was lucky to walk away with. That would be her last fight to date. Currently 39 years old, it is most likely that Watanabe has retired for good. In all, Hisae Watanabe retired with a record of 20 and 6, with 12 wins by KO or TKO and 3 by submission for a finish rate of 75%, all while wearing her unique and signature Tarzan inspired rain attire. That 12 knockouts came from a woman standing only 5 feet 3 inches or 160 centimeters tall and never fighting at more than 110 pounds makes the record even more impressive. Hisae Watanabe, Women's Mixed Martial Arts Original Knockout Queen. Thank you for watching another episode of Blast from the Past. Let me know your thoughts on the episode in the comments down below. Of course, Likes are always appreciated, and hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMMAC Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. And don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Be a lot cooler if you did, and we'll see you next time.